Hi and welcome back to my channel and to this really special digital bullet journal planning video. So this is my digital bullet journal that I made myself. Here's my contents page and here are some TV shows that I'm tracking and this is a great place to show you how the marker works as a highlighter because as you go over it, it completely misses any of the black lines and so it puts the colour behind. This is a Netflix planning one and an Amazon Prime TV planning one and then here we have movies and TV shows so these are all cinema movies and um, I actually saw Turning Red because we have a Disney Plus subscription so I'm just checking that off. Again this marker completely misses the black so it just puts the colour behind in a really nice way that highlights. And then on the other side I'm going to put Disney Plus movies, although Turning Red was on that side. Um, with this line pen you can have any thickness which is really helpful um, and if you do the wrong thing you can just undo or you can erase and go back and change it. So all of these layouts that I got from other creators I will link below. The Amazon Prime TV one I did create myself, but I would be willing to send that to anyone for free if they would like it, if they find it useful. I just find that it's useful to plan things according to the subscription service that I use, otherwise I would get a little bit lost as to what is where and um, if I fancy a Netflix night then it's handy to switch to the Netflix page. Um, so yes, all of those things are linked below. So um, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, you'll have to excuse my voice, so I'm just going to pop some music on here while I fill out the rest of this movie tracker. So that's that movie tracker and then there's the Amazon one and back to the contents page just filling out the pages as I go along. This is really helpful because I just made this as a blank notebook with dot grid. Um, I didn't hyperlink any of the pages because I didn't know what I would want to use it for. I just knew that I wanted a bullet journal that would be uh, versatile, that would be um, useful for lots of different things. So the contents page is actually probably <laughs> the page that I'll use the most. Ironically. I've never used contents pages in bullet journals very much before, but in this one I will need it. So that's just me erasing and showing you how I can write back over, really useful tool. And then this spread here is going to be a friends tracker. Now I have found since the end of the pandemic, not that it's ended, but the end of restrictions and lockdowns and such that, that seeing friends and catching up with people has been quite overwhelming for me. Um, the way that my brain computes things and the way that I remember things, it can be really, really tricky for me to remember that I needed to message someone or I need to see someone or that I've arranged to see someone and so this is going to be a page for me to um, remember those who are nearest and dearest to me and I've also found that um, it's really easy for me to forget that I've made arrangements with someone or the passage of time seems to just feel completely different now post pandemic um, and so I'll think I only saw somebody last week and it turns out it was three weeks ago so this is going to be a page that will help me to track those things and to be more intentional with my friendships because if the pandemic has shown us anything it's that the people in our lives really are very important and uh, so you can see here I did the lettering on one side and then just copied and pasted it over onto the other page which is really useful and then I've got these doodle picture frames uh, which I will also link below in the description from an Instagram artist um, they're great I can pop them in and I can adjust the size so as I create this you'll see that with the wooden frame that I use um, I have resized it um, but I'm gonna put some music on now and just let you see me put this layout together
and so there we have it that's that spread done and I'm going to show more videos of what I do with my bullet journal because this will mainly be used for tracking things lots of other trackers I want to put in so please do check back um, subscribe and like if you haven't already and you'll be able to see more videos like this but for now thanks a lot bye bye